new year. It feels so great to be able to say welcome to 2022. I'm Melinda Akinlami on our lineup today. It's filled with thrills taking place in the art world from an exhibition which shows that big things come in small packages. To another unique type of exhibition revealing these hard pieces. Then we experience this group show. But first, let's see how creators view the festive season with their words and works of art. Our wordsmith for this week is Ilo Daniel Adeyemi's It's Called Niger White Christmas. The joy of Christmas I know. Ever since I grew in Niger, although we care not about patridge in the pear tree, all we know Christmas for is the joy it brings. Christmas came as a gift, a gift civilization brought through slavery. The gift breaks shackles of slavery for every soul dancing world to the talking two faced gongon and the bead lace shaking shakere. Christmas season, the season we forget. Hurdles we jumped, hills we climbed, we survived worries and pressure life brings, like a cocoa tree in drought. As a growing child in Niger, the joy of Christmas lies in the dormant of new linen, aroma of jollof rice, and chicken joystick. Christmas season always comes like a king, clothed in hammer tan and dry white lips, fireworks and thundering banger, love and spreading of smile like wildfire. Niger Christmas, a season like no other. Thanks, Zona Strings. That's really a delight to behold. A delicious one at that. From that feast to this one, a miniature exhibition by Ogurico Gallery in Lagos intends to encourage more people to collect works of art. <laughs> This graffiti wall of experience reveals some of those who felt it imperative to register their presence in this miniature art fair organized by Ugiri Kon and Iwalewa Gallery in this unconventional space in Lagos, which has a large number of small pieces, as well as other side attractions, to spice up the fiesta. Well, miniature art fair is a dream uh, to get a lot of artists under one roof and to tame them in a way to do smaller work. This is the third edition of the Miniature Art Fair Lagos, um, where you can come meet artists, collectors, meet artists, and um, exhibit different collections of art, but in a miniature form. 
knowing that art is not determined by the size or by the content is what, why we put up this show together. So Ogiri Kong and the Gallery of Art has chose in this fair to exhibit different artists. <laughs> This performance is just part of the lineup to add color to an already bright occasion. For the art fair, we have a cultural display, we have spoken words. You know, it's like a bazaar of arts collections from different masters and upcoming artists. It's a place to as well meet talents. That's not all. There is a live painting session by children. Members of the mini group had offered their hands to be crafted as they continued mixed colors and painting on disposable plates. All this is done to encourage people to have art in mind when spreading love this time of the year. In the spirit of the season, people want to give out gift items. So I think giving out a small piece is not clumsy. It's easy to carry. You're in Nigeria, you want to travel, you want to give out gifts to your... So that's the that's that's idea of having a miniature outfit. Art Gallery has put together um, a collection of miniatures from different artists and all just to like promote their works, promote the culture and art in MPN. And he put them in a, in, a, in such a way that it's affordable for everyone to enjoy and to buy. Artists will always find a gallery, so we start from there. And I reach out to the artists I love as well. This miniature annual fiesta is a dream that has been realized by the organizers to have many creatives under one roof, as small pieces means more artists and perhaps more collectors. <laughs> From there, we move to another part of the commercial capital to see Elixir, a made in Jurid National Sculpture Exhibition at the National Museum. The Sculptors Association of Nigeria has decided to put up this exhibition at the National Museum exclusively to show the beauty and creativity in their craft. Art is response individual response to your own society in expressing society we feel that we should be able to give a dose a dose of uh, balm to suit our nation's situations so through these walls as we call it Eliza 
is to see how we can be able to bring ideas, bring discourses and expressions as it were, to be able to import on the issue and see if we can give the right uh, uh, responses that should be able to heal the nation. That's the reason these chiseled wonders interplay in Elixir, which presents sculpture as an aesthetic palliative essential for a nation at its crossroads. We decided to come up with this particular exhibition, something to ease down the tension that the country is going through. So that's why we, we sculptors decided to come up with such idea. And I think people will really appreciate it at this very junction. I'm actually using this work as a medium of expression to our people who are representing us in Abuja and some other places. Now look, uh, we have taken you there on our platform. But right now, you flaunt the Agbada, you flaunt Jaka, you flaunt everything. How about the people that have voted you in? So I'm actually using it as um, a, a, a metaphor, you know, and of course a satire, you know, to really drive home a point that you, when you are there, and when you are worth the wearing of the Agbada, you need to remember those who, vote, I mean, those who voted you in. How do you come out of your challenges, your, your strength to tackle uh, any upsurge that may be quite disturbing, you know, your energy at tackling that, resolving the issue, and the outcome of that is the Elysia. What now brings circle, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel? So by the title, you can see the work is quite illustrative. That's a goose in an attacking post. The present civilization, where everything has been taken to the level of artificial manipulation. Now, if we allow the natural beauty, the natural setting that God has given to man, we may want to consider it as crude, as maybe impure, but within that seemingly crude nature is the very godly nature that God has given to man. When it comes to works of art, some people are yet to fall in love with sculptural pieces. They usually gravitate towards paintings. This show intends to enlighten the collectors to why these pieces should be a part of their collection. Sculptor, from the beginning of time, um, has been a very, very important art form in Nigeria. And today is still very, very important from what we have it's still very important. It should be encouraged and we should do more of it. This is the first juried national sculpture exhibition organized by SCAN in Lagos. Let's take a moment now. When the program returns, we'll enjoy this group show. Stay with us. You don't need attention to write. All you need is passion for your work and an overwhelming desire to tell a story you genuinely care about. Readers can sense your sincerity and it separates you from pretenders. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. 
works of art you sent in this week still has a lot of Christmas themes laced around it. Let's begin with this one done with acrylic pen and charcoal on paper. The artist says, Dear Santa, have I been good this year? <laughs> I'm sure he was referring to last year though. But most of the time, once in a while, never mind, I'll buy my own stuff. That's what the artist says with a lot of humor he has put in there. Then this next piece is called Sensation, which is part of Inivosa Pius Beauty series. It's done with acrylic on canvas as well. Then Uri is an acrylic on carved woodwork done by Toby Paul. William Michael is showing us his cosmic dance, which he's doing as he steps into the new year with his digital illustration. Then Ibrahim Mohammed says there's a lot of fashion in this festive period, so he has illustrated it with this piece. And an acrylic on canvas piece done by Philip Kofi is talking about family. He says the beauty of the celebration is all about family, it's not about the gift, so it's about family being united. Then Sanusi Abdullahi is saying that we see a lot of cultural display this time which shows our cultural identity and he has done it with this metal construction. Then still talking about the fashion is Ogunlesi Paul with this is new sprint and acrylic on canvas work which is part of the Life and Animosity series. It's called Lace and Gold Pendant. And that wraps up the works of art you sent in this week. We encourage you to do things different this year by giving us something a bit unique. And also, don't forget to put all the information beside the works of art you send in so that we'll be able to show them for you. Lovely works of art you sent in there. Now to Cocopelli Gallery, which presents its recent group exhibition, called experience. About nine artists share their experiences at this exhibition of paintings and other mixed media works at the Coco Pelli Gallery in Lagos. I specialize mainly on surrealism and also using nature to pass on the message I wish to pass on. Most times it, um, it can be religion, can also has to do with morality. But I try to use things that are uncommon and add it up with things that are common. I'm glad to be an artist exhibiting via this exhibition because I've had a whole lot of experience through the year after my first experience. My second experience, I have a whole lot of changes when it comes to the way I walk, the way I see art. Not just seeing art for art these days, I now see art in a way that it should speak into the life of people, not just there as art. Experience the second captures the many issues hugging the national dailies. These creatives are passionate about it. This work is a titled Step Forward. For the reasons uh, I know in life we have plenty of challenges around us. Difficult ones, easy to deal with challenges, but you just have to push them aside and keep moving. You, keep, you have to step out for you to be able to take the next step. So this work is motivated by issues of life. 
that have really made us stronger. And then I always want to let people know that they have to step forward. They have to keep moving and push out the challenges and keep them aside. The series of my work I have behind here is uh, the series itself is called Frame of the Mind. But each of the work has their own meaning, has their own title to it. So one of the work over there is titled Violated Mind. I titled the work Violated Mind because it shares the it shares the mind of the the storyteller. It, it shares the pain the 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 person is going through at that moment in time. The artists talk about what inspired them to create these images and the messages within. Um, right from childhood, I've actually been an artist, but what actually inspires me is more of, you know, when I see things that need to be corrected, sometimes I, I first write down, I, I write them down. So by the time I write them down, I try to find ways, you know, to bring them to reality. So some of those things, it can be in form of an experience, in the sense that something that has happened to me before. So for me to tell it to people, that's what inspires me. I need, I need the people to know about it. I need them to see things the way I see things. I'm letting the viewers know that there are people out there we have to see them and listen to the story. Not everybody you see has a smiley face. Something deep down is happening in their life. Listen to them. Give them shoulders. Give, open your warm arms to them. Welcome them in. Because, you know, we all, have, we all have our downside, and we also have our ups and downs. This is the second major exhibition at the Coco Pelli Gallery, which started operations in 2020. It doubles as an art studio and gallery which displays a mixture of modern and contemporary works of art done by African creatives. For what to look forward to the next time you tune in, take a look. On the next episode of Art House. On the next edition, Home is Here, an exhibition by three artists in Lagos. Tochike Kuberi solo exhibition at Nike Art Gallery. The Legacies and Art Exhibition at My Dream Gallery. We'll be showing you that and more on the next edition. Plus, Visit our YouTube page to see all other episodes of Art House. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's the program today. We appreciate you for always being there. And let's up the numbers of views on our YouTube page this year and share it so more people can see what creatives are doing. We have a bundle of talent which is celebrated here on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami, wishing you a fabulous day.